Hi, I'm Allison and welcome to Celebrathom's Top 5. The weather is getting hot, 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 and Hollywood's biggest celebrities are really turning up the heat and making headlines. This week we've got everything from Katy Perry rating her exes to an Oscar that has to be returned. We've got the inside tip on all of the best stories of the week, so let's get started. Coming in at number 5 is Modern Family star Ariel Winter, who recently got matching finger tattoos with her 29-year-old boyfriend Levi. What kind of ink did they get? Well, Ariel got a block of cheese and Levi got a jar of peanut butter. We hope that she's not lactose intolerant because this is nuts. Our number 4 story goes to Rebel Wilson, who recently won a lawsuit against a magazine company that published false articles about her, saying that she lied about her age, name, and upbringing. She claims that the articles cost her roles and that she wanted to send a message to the tabloids to clear her name. We can't wait to see her back on the big screen in Pitch Perfect 3. Coming in at number 3 is singer Katy Perry, who recently ranked her ex's performance in bed while on a segment for James Corden's talk show. Among the men were Diplo, Orlando Bloom, and John Mayer, but Katy really threw in a curveball when she mentioned a possible relationship with Josh Groban. We smell a secret romance. Our number two story goes to Kim Kardashian. The celebrity recently appeared in a makeup ad where she's been accused of blackface. Some are saying it's a lighting and editing issue, but others are attacking her for using makeup to appear darker. Honestly, we're not surprised that another Kardashian is making headlines. And our number one story goes to Hollywood A-lister Leonardo DiCaprio, who had to return an Oscar, but thankfully not the one with his name on it. He was gifted Marlon Brando's Oscar by a producer on The Wolf of Wall Street, who's tangled up in a scandal involving funneling money from Malaysia to pay for movies instead of their economic development fund. Sounds like a real Wolf of Wall Street moment to us. Thanks for watching Celebrathon's Top 5, and I'll see you next week. Hit the subscribe button now to keep up to date on all your favorite A-listers.